Hey y'all, I'm back here with another video. So I know that I'm a little late. I had some shit going on. Y'all about to get at least like one, two, three, probably like four to five videos out of me today. I don't know. I gotta see how late. Probably Mary that first set will probably come tomorrow because Lord knows that show was two hours. I don't really be having the time to. But regardless. So let me get here. I'm sorry y'all I'm late with the Real Housewives of Atlanta review. It wasn't it's boring. So that's why I'm not like in a rush to review it it's boring it's let's just get to it this is not gonna be a long review this is gonna be really quick to the point um latoya kenya and cynthia they all meet up at this little lingerie shop or whatever to go get some stuff i don't even really know what happened there um they were just kind of talking about the party and stuff and the only thing to me that stuck out there is that kenya is out here sending latoya naked pictures of her or whatever and again like i said if y'all are like bumping kitty cats or whatever, just say that. But I don't like, and I mind you, I'm not even a lesbian, but I don't like people who pretend, quote unquote, to like, to like be less, you see what I'm saying? Like people who, like it's a performative thing. It's not because you're really, really into her. Like it's more of a performative thing. If y'all bumping kitties, bump kitties. But outside of that, I really don't care. I do not like Latoya. I don't even, I do not like her period. I don't like her on this show. Um, I understand what Bravo was trying to do, but to me, she brings nothing to this show other than you try, like, you're looking to have a moment, and that's the shit that I can't stand. If you're going to be on the show, just be on the show and be yourself. Don't come on here specifically looking for a moment. I think Latoya would be more so towards, like, your VH1 type. Give her 11 hip-hop, give her basketball, I don't give a fuck, but she doesn't fit to me. You want to talk about Karen, talk about, oh, Dr. Wendy doesn't fit. No, Latoya doesn't fucking fit on this show. At the fuck off. Don't really see her purpose other than bumping kitties with uh, Kenya, okay? Um, then they talk about the whole party. They call Candy to see, you know, what the dress, you know, what the dress code is supposed to be. And she's like, you know, just dress up really nice. And both of these hoes, Cynthia talking about some Joe Biden is coming. Somebody gonna say, oh yeah, he really do want the black woman vote. Okay, if he wants the black woman vote, why the fuck will he go to y'all? Y'all don't speak for the rest of us and can't nobody on that cast convince me to vote for anybody because none, none of y'all have the fucking range as far as I'm concerned. None of you hoes have the range. So that would be so fucking pandering. He does enough pandering as is. If he was to come onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta, that would be pandering to like the emptyth level. You hoes ain't that motherfucking important. Anyway. <sighs> then we go to Portia's house or whatever and, um, you know, Portia tells um, her sister, Lauren, and her mama come over. And, you know, Portia's saying, you know, how she um, liked the doll, you know, that Kenya got. Which, I'm sorry, I don't know. Is it just me or I felt like the doll was shady. Like, she got you, your daughter, a Rosa Parks doll. Like, I guess maybe it was supposed to be, like, cute. Like, hey, you know, look at what you're doing. But after hearing what Kenya actually feels about the work that Portia's doing, to me, it gives me a little bit shit, a little bit of shade in the gift. But whatever. She didn't take it that way. She's like, it was really, really nice to her, you know? And then Laura's like, well, damn, I feel bad because I did. I told her not to come. And Portia's like, so? That's, like, that's fine. Nobody knows where we are. And that's true. Nobody knows where they are. Okay, want to remember that? Can you want to write it down? I hope Andy's writing that down right now as a fucking question. Um, so then Portia talks about the book that she's writing. Am I interested in the Portia book? No. No shade. And I love Portia. Portia probably one of my favorite people on this show. But no, I'm not very interested in writing and reading Portia's book. Um, her and Lauren are half sisters. They share the same daddy. Um, Lauren lived with her daddy full time. Uh, when her, when Portia, mom, and her father got a divorce, she didn't. She seen him pretty much, like, on the weekends, and then he died, like, when she was, I think, a teenager or something like that. Um, you know, she talked about how she didn't, like, she didn't think that she was in, well, it wasn't until she got older that she realized that she was, like, in, like, abusive relationships. Girl, allegedly, but we couldn't even count Cordell. The way that he treated you, you clear, when she said, I didn't know I had daddy issues, girl, it's written all over you from the way that you i don't even want to say the way you talk it's just the whole way you act and you carry yourself it's obvious you have daddy issues but you're not the only one so it's fine um <clears throat> then she talks about you know how she picked the dentist to have her baby um and I, people are surprised i'm not surprised it's obvious that she specifically picked dennis and all of the reasons that she said i'm not even surprised that somebody like portia would find all of those things good enough for her to have a baby this bitch said 
oh my gosh, he has his own place. That's the bare minimum he should. He has his own car. After a certain age, that's the bare minimum you should. Now, depending on where you live, because if you live like somewhere in like New York City or whatever, I can understand you not having a car. But having a car, having a mode, like mode of transpa transportation, that should be included in that bare minimum. He don't have any kids. If that's not something that you want, then okay, sure. And he told me that he loved me. He told me that I was cute. That's basic teenage shit. He told me that I was cute. That's what I did in middle school. If somebody told me that I was cute, then that was my boyfriend. That's how we roll in middle school. That's how I know you have daddy issues. You're a grown ass woman. And the fact is, Portia, you are Portia. So you really could, for the most part, get just about any nigga that you want if you really tried. And the fact that you specifically sat and chose Dennis because he said that you were cute. And because he had a crib of his own and a house of his own. But you live in Atlanta. I know for a fact that this is not the only nigga in Atlanta with some money. The and clearly he wasn't worth shit. So whatever. Do better. That That's just a lesson to women to do better, okay? Then we get to the engagement party or whatever. See, this is almost done. We get to the engagement party and... Um, Kenya wanted everybody to show up before Cynthia B did, so it can kind of be a surprise. But you know, you know, uh, what is it? CPT, color people time, okay? Um, that's how we roll. Uh, but the thing that make me mad is I can't stand, because I have in my notes, why the fuck are y'all just now getting shit done? Like, Candy is in there just now having somebody him up. I mean, granted, she did get there on time, but still, it's like, why are you and Todd, y'all, you Candy, you knew before anybody about this shit. And you're just now today getting your dress hemmed up and getting it sewed up. The same thing with Todd. Same thing with Portia. Like, what the f I hate people that's like that. If you know that there is something coming up or an event coming up, why would you wait to the last minute? It kind of bothers me. Like, even when I see it on Instagram, like, when I see, like, celebrities be like, oh, my gosh, I need an MUA by tonight. Or, oh, I need somebody that's going to lay my hair tonight. If you... For if you know that you have a club appearance in Dallas on Tuesday, why the fuck would you wait till Tuesday morning afternoon to try to find somebody to do your hair or your makeup? That makes absolutely no sense to me. It's very annoying because the thing is, I'm somebody who I'm very, very, very planned out when it comes to things. I be having like, when I went um, on vacation to Vegas, I had all my outfits packed and ready, picked out and ready at least five months fucking prior because i wasn't playing i'm not waiting till the last minute to do it and it's rude it's rude at the end of the day okay so whatever so candy and todd gets there first i mean so no who gets there first tanya gets there first and tanya's like oh are you throwing this party because if you messed up her engagement and candy's like no no that's exactly what it is but whatever then candy and todd come whatever um and then you know everybody else is late so cynthia and mike shows up um, they were confused at first. They didn't even realize what the fuck was going on until they, like, had to stop and look around, and then they realized what it was. So that was cute or whatever the case may be. Um, after they do all of that, you still waiting for some more people to come. Um, uh, Cynthia, I guess she wasn't going to have anybody be her bridesmaid, but I guess after that, she felt like she should ask. So she asked Kenya, and then eventually she asked Candy if they wanted to be her bridesmaids. I mean, congratulations. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Um... Then some of the girls showed up. Who showed up? I think. Who? Wait. Because who was all the fuck there now that I'm thinking about it? Latanya came. Can't, I know who I came. I'm trying to see who came on time. I think Marlo ended up coming, but she was late. But she wasn't ridiculously late, but she was late. Anyway, Candy hops on the mic. Now, this is the thing about Candy. I feel like Candy has an acquired, you know how people like it's an acquired taste. I think Candy has an acquired voice. And I also think it depends on the day because I personally do not care for Candy's voice 95% of the time. 95% of the time, I don't like the way that it sounds, specifically live. However, the reason why I give her grace is because there is, I want y'all to go on YouTube and look up um, if Escape Tonight Live. Like they send this off tonight. Tonight, oh. Now, Candy, in there, there is the y'all pick whichever one has the most views. I think she has like this green um, jumpsuit on. She sounds really good there. That's why I say it's an acquired taste because, like, for the most part, I think maybe Candy just she has to warm up her voice and it takes her time because, but her just hitting, hitting, sitting on that mic, absolutely not. She sounded a hot ass mess, okay. 
then Portia end up coming. Portia comes in like almost an hour late, which is extremely, extremely fucking rude, Portia. You could have sent a text message, a bird call or something, or you could have not the fuck came. And you looked cute, but girl, still, still, like what the hell? So she comes up and of course Kenya's going to use that, oh my gosh, like so rude, da da da, because she was in the middle of talking. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I would appreciate it if you kept the same energy across the board, Kenya, because then when Latoya walks in there, you did say under your breath, I mean, it's better late than never. But you didn't say that about Portia. You didn't say, oh, I mean, well, she's late, but fucking at least she's here because you don't like her. But that's the thing, Kenya. If you're going to be a shitty person, like, or if you're going to be judgmental, keep it uh, consistent across the board. Don't cut Latoya no uh, slack just because she's munching on your kitty cat. Like, no, she's she's just Latoya was even ruder because she was later than Portia. Get the fuck out of here. She's weird as hell. So then they're all sitting at the table talking or whatever. Latoya decides that this is a great moment to pull out the picture that she got at Kenya and to show everybody at the table. And like I've heard a couple people say, like, bitch, it's one thing. First of all, you shouldn't do a period. But it's one thing if it's just all of us girls. You got Todd sitting right here and you got um Mike Hill sitting right here. Why are you showing a picture of her ass to other people's husbands slash significant others? What is wrong with you? This is why I don't want her on the show because there was no point of her doing that other than to have a moment. If y'all notice, every fucking time Latoya is in the scene, she wants to do something quote unquote shocking it's not really shocking but shocking to try to get a moment she did it this week last week she sat there and told the girl oh i bet you uh, you date older men like she just keeps doing it then when she was over there with Drew and them she had some shit to say i don't like her she is looking for a moment i'm fucking tired of her get her the fuck off the screen don't like her don't care for her next okay Kenya's just horny as hell, sitting up here talking. She really needs to get, like, a decent ass. Okay, this is what Kenya probably needs. There's this little rose going around or whatever. It's a nice little, you know, stimulator. We need to get her a whole bunch of those roses and send it to her. Because she's way too horny. You going around to her. Like, she has never talked like this before. Now, Candy, I'll even say this. People say that Candy is freaky, but it's like... I don't really see how Candy is freaky because Candy don't even really talk too much about sex like that. Although that is the image that she portrays, she doesn't really talk about sex a whole lot like that. But if anybody was going to talk about sex, I guess it would be Candy. Kenya, you normally don't do this. Like, you probably would call somebody else out their name past season's for even talking like this. But go get one of them flowers. Like, calm your horny ass down. Oh, I, I do Kenya and I do, I mean, I do Candy and I do uh, Cynthia look at the roof. Like, girl, just calm the fuck down. Like, me. Matt, I mean, whatever the fuck his name is, he really wasn't giving you dick that much. This is the only time y'all fucked is when y'all conceived. Do better, sis. Do the fuck better. Um, then, uh, you know, Kenya asked Portia, oh, did you get the gift that I got for Pilar? She was like, yes, I liked it a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, but it would have been nice if I was invited. See, here you go. Start your shit again for no reason and like Portia said I mean she probably didn't invite you because nobody knows where we stand how are you getting mad at some how are you getting mad for not being invited to a surprise party like do you get that she didn't even know that there was a party so how are you mad at her and then I heard shout out to color me ping aka Keisha who said that apparently um Lauren came out and said that she told Cynthia that same day that she told her she could come she told her that she couldn't she didn't wait to the day of so Cynthia are you being messy because you want to stay on the show so fucking badly are you playing around with production I'm pretty sure the fuck you are because other other than this freaking wedding what does Cynthia have going on I really hope this is Cynthia's last season I'm tired of her I'm tired of I will say this every video until I can't no more get rid of Cynthia get rid of Candy get rid of LaToya Give Marlo a peach. Keep Drew. Maybe keep Kenya. Maybe keep Portia. Because even they're like, nah, nah, nah. But outside of that, get rid of Kenya and get rid of um Candy. Because I don't care about Riley going off to school. I really the fuck don't. I do not care. This grown-ass little girl who's about to go to school, she can't clean a bathroom. Again, I understand that y'all rich and y'all have other people do it. But she is about to be a grown-ass girl living by her fucking self and she can't clean the bathroom and finally i'm sorry i didn't mean to i didn't talk about it because i don't like to talk about people but candy that her nose is enough it's a no she was better off with the original nose that she had yes riley has always been you know a little bit of a weird looking child but she looked much better with her regular nose than this nose and candy i wish that we would have a conversation about 
why you thought that it was okay for your daughter, for your teenage daughter to go out and get that done. That's all I want to fucking know. Because I know, uh, what's her name? I know Miss Joyce was not happy about it. She looks a mess, Candy. She looks a mess. I'm over this fucking show. I don't care no more. What if anything else happened? No, nothing important happened. I don't care. The show is boring. I'm tired of it. This is why I didn't do it with you. Bye-bye.